Day four, we went to Chateau Boca National Park, which is located on the north side of the island. Here you see massive waves crashing into underground cavern where seawater is compressed through a blowhole, making a thunder and gunshot sound. That was a good one. Like it just comes out of the ground and it just starts spreading along like like vines or something like big vines Jesus is coming. After the park, we drove over to Playa Grande, where we got to swim with the uh, sea turtles. After working up an appetite and swimming with the uh, sea turtles, we headed on over to a Playa Forte restaurant uh, where Debbie had shrimp, rice and beans, and some tostones, and then I had uh, fish soup. So after lunch, we decided we just wanted to relax on the beach and not do any snorkeling or anything, just hang out in the water and sit on the sand. Uh, so we headed on over to Grote Nib where we hung out the, uh, for the afternoon. For dinner, we walked over to Mambo Beach, uh, where we ate dinner at El Grill and Mexicano. Debbie had uh, 
beef tacos, I had chicken fajitas, and I also had some chips and dips. On day five, we woke up and walked over to the uh, Carousel Sea Aquarium where we spent the morning. Hello. Look, I'm looking at us. Hi. Down. God, their poor hands that look so uncomfortable. Long, look at that one. Long, skinny neck. He said, what they, they think we're going to feed them because, you know, they're trying. We're not going to feed you. Oh, my God. There's dinner. Yeah, trigger fish. We can eat you too. They're so curious. Yeah, that's why when spear fishing them, it was easy because they swim up to you. We got some tarpon. <laughs> well, I guess the show's over. Thank you. But they enjoy attention and praise as well. Therefore, the dolphins are rewarded in a variety of ways after each whistle. It is important to note that the dolphins are being fed.
We have nearly reached the end of our dolphin training presentation. We hope that you have enjoyed seeing for yourself the reality. Trust your heart. So very much for your time and consideration. We hope you have come to see these dolphins as special. After the aquarium, me and Debbie walked over to Mambo Beach where I did some snorkeling. She laid out and then went and did some shopping. She purchased uh, Blair Elizabeth Reeser, which is going to be our first granddaughter, expected in July, a onesie. Deborah and her falafel. Falafel. There's the beach. That evening, we drove over to the Sambal Mall where we ate at Cafe Barista. Debbie had an Italian sandwich and I had a Cuban sandwich. After that, we watched the movie Civil War, which was a really good movie. Day six, we drove over to the Hulanda Village for Debbie to shop and to tour the Pura Hulanda Museum. We paid for a guide so I was not able to record. The museum is an art anthropological museum that focuses on the predominant cultures of Carousel. It offers a world-class chronicle of the origin of man, the African slave trade, West African empires, Mesopotamian relics, and Antillian art. That's neat. Just all the buildings down here are just all painted different colors. After the village, we drove over to downtown Williamstead, where Debbie had to get uh, her funky monkey coffee drink. And then we just kind of walked around toward the uh, downtown until lunchtime. All right, we're in downtown Williamstead.
Get there. Get. Not whatever. Say moo. Okay. Let's get all these doors, like Hill Figure and Calvin Klein and all those from Savannah. That is the Ultra Banda side. And this is the. And this is the floating, the floating bridge, swinging bridge. So boats come through, it'll actually swing out. Uh, that little yellow hut there has a motor, and it'll just motor out and pull the whole thing. And then this side of the island is called the Punta. Punta. Punta side. This is known as and that's the, the and that's the Deborah. And that's the government house. Side. And that's where the cruises come in. And this is the Punda side. And that's downtown. What's it? Downtown Williamstead. Williamstead. We ate at Plaza View, which is a kind of like a food court uh, with a whole bunch of local stands set up to where you can get some local food. We decided to eat at Doo Doo Place, and Debbie had grilled Mai Mai, and I had goat stew. <laughs> Plaza View, some good food. After eating some awesome local food, we headed over to Carousel Liquor Distillery to, and did a little tour sampling their chocolate and coffee rum, which is distilled in a copper still from 1896. They're making the blue still. Yeah, look at all that blue now. I think here's all of them here. So you have the clears, clear, and then the blue, orange, green, and red all taste the same and the specialties rum raisin coffee tamarind and chocolate all right we're gonna give you the secret to how to make this yourself you grow the fruit and harvest it then you peel it sun dry it put it into the 1896 original copper steel with extract, spice, herbs, and alcohol. Then distillate the aroma, put it in the mixing tank, bottle it, and drink it. That's the secret. Now send me $100 once you watch this video. All right, the chocolate tasting. Chocolate's good. Did it burn? No, it's good. Let, here, went down smooth? Yeah, it went down very smooth. All right, you taste the chocolate. No, the chocolate's really good. Very smooth. Cheers. That's good. Okay. <laughs> I like to take the coffee. Can you imagine what the coffee tastes like? All right, I'm going to skip out on the tamarind. No, you got no? okay. to taste that one. Okay. Alright, so this is the tamarind. Okay. This is the fruit one, right? Yeah, it's a fruit. The fruit. Okay. Mm, I like 
like the chocolate. That evening, we walked over to Mambo Beach where we had dinner at Boca's. Debbie had grilled sea bass and I had the red snapper.